Hi and welcome to today's session. Today we are going to discuss about shortcuts to trigonometric ratios. Shortcuts, isn't that interesting? Yeah. See, are you all familiar with this table, trigonometric table? Sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cosec, sec, cot, 0 degree, 30 degree, 45, 60, 90. You all, if you have finished this chapter in school, must be remembering the values, isn't it? But still, in case if you forget the value, you should not lose a single mark, isn't it? We should have a plan B, how to get the values, right? So here I am to tell you a small, simple trick to get these values. So let's get started. You see a small palm and you see a table okay so what are we going to do in this trick is hold your left hand okay facing towards yourself right now i have this is my left hand i'm holding it like this it should be facing towards myself then you have to draw it on the paper when you draw it this finger should be your little finger okay this is my little finger and this is my thumb. Once I have drawn it like that, this becomes my 0 degree. This is my 30 degree. This is 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Otherwise also if you hold your hand like this, is it making a 90 degree shape? It is right. So just that one up. Now to write the values of sin theta, very very easy. When you put a signature on a piece of paper, where do you put your sign? Towards the bottom, right? So for sin theta, just think that and start with the little finger. Okay, so if this is my little finger, how many fingers do I have below that? Do I have any more fingers below my little finger? No, 0. So, it will be under root 0 by 2. Got it? What is under root 0 by 2? 0. So, my answer will be 0. Now, look at your ring finger, which is your 30 degree. Below ring finger, how many fingers do I have? 1 finger. So, that will be under root 1 by 2. What is under root 1 by 2? 1 by 2 because 1 into 1 is 1. So, I will get 1 by 2. Okay. Now, 45 degree. Middle finger is 45 degree. How many fingers are below middle finger? 2 fingers, right? So, that will be under root 2 by 2. But can you write 2 as under root 2 into under root 2? Right? We have learned that in the first chapter, real numbers. So, root 2 by root 2 into root 2 will become what? 1 by root 2. Okay. So, 45 degree is 1 by root 2. How about 60 degree? That is my index finger. Below index finger, how many fingers are there? 3. Below index finger, there are 3 fingers, right? So, 60 degree is nothing but under root 3 by 2. Isn't it? Now, look at your 90 degree. Below your thumb, how many fingers? 4 fingers. Below your thumb, you have 4 fingers, right? So, that will be under root 4 by 2. What is under root 4 by 2? 2 by 2, right? And 2 by 2 will ultimately become 1. So, sin 90 degree is 1. We got sin theta so easily. We can just write it in the reverse order. Cos 0 will become sin 90. Then this 3 by 2 will come here. And 1 by root 2 stays here. This becomes 1 by 2 and 0 comes here. We got cos also. Isn't it easy? Now what is tan? Tan is nothing but we all know it is sin by cos. Right? 
so 0 by 1 how much is it 0 ok 1 by 2 let me just delete it we will do this for you 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2 what happens 1 by root 3 right and how about tan 45 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2 1 correct root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2 how much do it if you have any doubt just do it I just wanted to show you so this becomes root 3 isn't it and how about 1 by 0 any number divided by 0 what happens to that not defined excellent so half of our table is done I just made it a little neat I just rubbed it and wrote it again nothing else now we have to do the other half right we very well know cosec is the reciprocal of sine secant is nothing but the reciprocal of cos and cot is the reciprocal of tan theta isn't it so that makes our life very very easy so 0 by 1 will become what 1 by 0 and anything divided by 0 is nd not defined 1 by 2 will become 2 by 1 ok 1 by root 2 will become root 2 and root 3 by 2 will become 2 by root 3 and 1 as it is correct so let's go for the ultra of cos theta 1 by 1 1 and nothing we can just write it how we wrote cos from this side isn't it root 2 and then 2 comes here now 0 by 1 will become what 1 by 0 right so that will become not defined correct now for cot 0 by 1 will become 1 by 0 so this will also become not defined correct and 1 by root 3 will become root 3 and this will become 1 root 3 by 1 will become root uh, 1 by root 3 yeah 1 by root 3 and this will become what 1 by 0 it was now it will become 0 by 1 so that will be 0 isn't it easy guys don't you think it will be helpful if you like this video please do like it share it with your friends and subscribe thank you for watching